Alrighty, so this is something that I wanted to point out that Fnatic did in their second game against Justice, which was a really good start opener here. And I'll explain why this was such a good starter and how their whole team coordinated this strategy efficiently and together. So the first thing you notice right off the bat was that there was a three-man grouping by Fnatic on the left side Harpies. Now this allows a lot of things to open up on the table directly which I'll go into detail directly. This opens up an invade right here as Fnatic knows that there's going to be a red buff to blue, uh, purple buff over here. As a result, they're going to keep the lane neutralized by not having purple buff on either side here. By not having red buff here, this puts the Isis in a little bit of an awkward position, but because she'll get to the lane first regardless of the Agni, this will allow her to outpush the Agni and the wave will be pushed under his tower. So as you can see here, Clearly, this is neutralized right here. It's all even. There's no purple buff on either side. There is a red buff on Agni, but the lane is still pushing Isis's favor. As a result of this, Agni has to wait to push the wave before he can do anything about the mid side harpies as the Isis and the Circuit get right side harpies. And as a result of this, both harpies' controls goes to Fnatic side, and boom, right there, Justice is doing backside harpies. Fnatic is going to be pushing mid during this downtime. Meanwhile, Fnatic dual lane has pushed the dual lane of Justice back behind, getting lane control there, and here comes the grouping towards the purple buff. The perfect opening here by Fnatic controlling this side of the map for them very free. And if you look at the graph chart after they do secure this purple buff uncontested completely, they're going to be up about 963 experience and 500 gold without any kills on the board, and that is a very good opening.